Welcome back. So to start out, here's a couple of runs that I did uh, earlier in the week. Uh, this is on runway 23 and just sort of getting comfortable again with, uh, you know, taking the aircraft a little bit quicker and at the same time just sort of testing out the, uh, the air conditioning um, and you'll see a little bit later on um, I got further along with the AC uh, but I'll show you that in a little bit. So anyway, this is just a couple of runs uh, up two, three. See how we go with this. And if you notice here, you'll see that I've put some elevator in and the nose is just coming off there just, just a tiny bit. Uh, so that's the airspeed at which it just gets super light. Okay, on this second one I go a little bit quicker, but I don't make any attempt to get the nose off. Just wanted to uh, just kind of see, uh, you know, what sort of air speeds we're at when you um, get half uh, midfield to the, where the windsock is. And as you can probably see, I'm not having any problem stopping um, with those sorts of speeds. I think I could pretty much comfortably take it full power all the way to the windsock and then still be able to stop at least coming this way on 2-3 because it's not so much of a downhill as it is going the other way. All right. So I've got uh, the AC fully recharged now by the guys at SNS. I was messing around with it and I couldn't figure out exactly how much to put in it and I couldn't get it to balance nicely. Um, and I've got my pressure gauges in the back there so I, can see Romeo is clear so I can see what's going on with respect to the pressures. And I have a feeling that because of where I've got the condenser it's not ideal. And uh, when I'm doing these, you know, runs down the runway generating all this heat in the engine compartment it's uh, meaning that the uh, um, the condenser is just getting heat soaked 
so the AC is just not, you know, working as well as it could. It's not get, getting any fresh air running over it when I'm just taxiing around. And then when I go down the runway, there's a whole bunch of uh, heat to the, the whole engine compartment, which doesn't help either. So, uh, but you know that's not the normal profile. Normally you'd be just taxing it with a cold engine, so County, would be heat clear. And then you'd be uh, taking off and uh, and County, traffic, getting a bunch of fresh air. We might have stepped on somebody there. Somebody crossing midfield. I was taxiing across midfield. I'm clear now. Traffic 9, dual uniform, turning uh, short final runway 5, Cherokee, full stop. So anyway, we'll see what the uh, AC pressures do um, from doing a couple of runs. Right now it's on and it feels pretty good. Getting the cabin cooled down a bit here. All right, it's already a hot one out there. 87 already. <laughs> That's only quarter to 11 now but it's still it's going to be 93 today or something Cherokee traffic experimental two tango delta runway 5 high speed taxi Cherokee Touch and go down there. Down here. Hi, Mike Charlie, we hear you loud clear. So far, so good with that one. Three, one, one. Watching the ambient temperature over here going in the intake, which is basically kind of like a cowling temperature, upper cowling temperature, 102 right now. I've got the inlet scoop um, open all the way right now. I'm going to try some. Uh, if I don't get the AC cutting out, I mean, I'm going to try some runs with it shut after a, a couple of runs with it closed to see if that makes, uh, or see how much of a difference it makes. Cherokee traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, runway 5, high speed taxi Cherokee.
Alright, ambient temperature 95, 94. So it comes down to about 95 there, which is not much more above outside temperature, 86. Um, so I'm going to try one now when I get down the end with the scoop shot just to see if I get the same sort of results. Yeah, now there the AC's clicked off on its own. So, yeah, because the coolant temp's not above the maximum and neither is the oil. And the ambient went up to 118 now because of all the heat in there from that run. 122 right now on the ambient. Up to this other guy, he took off again. Cherokee County traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, runway 5, high speed taxi Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, Cox 7 to the Whiskey is on left crosswind, we're about to turn left downwind, runway 5, Cherokee. And I'll just make this one not like a static run up, just watch that ambient. Yes, it's gone right up now, 135 with the scoop closed. What I saw just then, 105. All right, I'll taxi back and try it again with the scoop open. AC's off again. Turkey can't traffic. Spare moment to tank the Delta. Clear runway 5, Turkey. Alright, so we've got 135, 136. So we'll see if, traffic, seven, three, you seven, know, seven, what seven, the, the difference is with the scoop open. Alright, starting out at 121 right now, ambient. Cherokee traffic, spare model 2 Tango Delta, runway 5, might be taxi Cherokee. Uh, I'm 7 to the whiskey, sorry, just stepped on you. Uh, how does our radio sound? Uh, that's better actually. Alright, thanks. Alright, 101, 100, yeah, what a difference, 99, 98, alright, so that scoop makes a big difference here. Now let's see, watch the heat build back up again, I think it got to 98 from 120 something. Cherokee traffic experimental 2 Tango Delta clear of 5 Cherokee.
Alright, so I'll leave the scoop open now and just see what kind of uh, cycling we get on the Cherokee turn. traffic, 737 Zulu Whiskey turning the left base for runway 5, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, experimental 2 Tango Delta, runway 5, high speed taxi, Cherokee. Alright, we're starting at 108 here where we were 121 last time. On ambient. Let's see how this goes. Cool at 203. Engine Back down to 99 here, 98, 97. Yeah, so definitely the way to go is having the vent open on a hot day like today for takeoff. It's going to get more air coming through there for sure. So it's not just all going over the top of the engine. Now I'll have to look back at the logs and see what the coolant temp does there and how, how much heat's being drawn from that. The coolant temp's now down to where they usually go when you're just sitting and idling after the engine's hot, so coolant is 192, usually gets somewhere down there, maybe 189. And the oil temp is 208, and that'll probably get down to about 207 and just sort of stabilise. Um, the ambient temperature is 114 right now, sort of hovering around there. Got the AC just turned off right now, so it doesn't add any extra heat. Check traffic south, 9 Zulu uniform taxiing from parking to run up area for only 5 checking. And just see what happens with the ambient, see if it keeps coming down. It's here 111 right now. I suspect if I put the AC on now, it will, it will kick back on, stay on. We'll see, we'll give it a chance just to see where the ambient stabilizes. Coolant is uh, 191 now, oil is 207, ambience 111. So I've had the aircraft out quite a bit um, already this week. I took a video but I just don't want to keep showering you guys with hours of runs down the runway um, that are, you know, fairly similar. But, you know, just trying to dial in this AC and just learn how it all works and where how, how the heat dissipation works is just time consuming um, but kind of boring for you guys to watch. Alright, so coolant now is 188, ambient's 108, and oil is 204. So we're, you know, back to, you know, quite cool. Okay. So I'm going to put the AC back on, shut the door here, put the AC back on and see uh, if it Cherokee comes County on Cherokee County traffic, Cessna 704, Virginia Uniform, departing runway 5 to the north of Cherokee County traffic. Kicked on right away. See if it sort of stays on now as a taxi back over there. Cherokee traffic experimental two tank and delta crossing runway five midfield Cherokee. Cherokee traffic south nine two uniform climbing out runway five will be departing the area to the east Cherokee.
Cherokee traffic, experiment one, two, Tango Delta, clear of five, Cherokee. Cherokee traffic, uh, 9 Zulu uniform, departing the area to the east, Cherokee. All right, I think it's safe to say that the AC is fixed, but it's not uh, the condenser position, which I knew was going to be just sort of a compromise, is uh, still a compromise. It's not getting enough air to it, um, especially when you're sitting and idling, you know, much like a car. If you blast your car down the highway and then you stop on the side of the road, your AC doesn't work quite so well because uh, everything's heat soaked. Um, Ambient sort of staying around that 118 to 120. Pool and temps staying 193, 194, and oils, you know, 206, 207. So it's just stable. So you could sit here, you know, all afternoon and and get cooled down in here, and eventually it would it would get down to probably comfortable 70 degrees in the cabin. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I guess. I'm still going to be, I'm wait, well, actually waiting on Justin to give me confirmation when they're showing up. Apparently the other guys who they're working for as well in that same three week thing starting on the 27th, um, they've got uh, preference over me. So uh, those guys are going to be coming out one of those three weeks, so either the 27th or, or the week after or the week after that. So I'm not sure yet. I'm just waiting on Justin to give me a confirmation. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just going to be doing some more runs down the runway um, just so I can gather more data and uh, just, you know, beat on it a little bit and just see if anything weird's happening. But I've been checking the engine after the runs and everything's looking good. Um, there's no leaks or anything like that. Um, everything's operating as you'd expect or as you'd want. So if I can improve this uh, AC, that's all the better, especially because we're probably going to have hot days when the guys get here and we'll be no doubt uh, flying or at least taxiing around and operating early in the morning to make the most of, I want to say, the cool attempts. It's usually 70 degrees at 6 o'clock in the morning here the, la the last couple of weeks. So um, Anyway, that's going to be my video for this week. Thanks for watching and um, tune in again for the next one and see what I have for you. Cheers.